Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, um, please support us by clicking the subscribe button and please like this video because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I dropped an educational video, but I'll try to be more consistent with those. And yeah, uh, without wasting any time, this is an extension or this is a continuation from the previous videos that we've had. So um, we talked about trading trends. We talked about uh, major and minor support and resistance levels. We talked about psychology. We talked about um, entries. Now, um, another thing that we need to talk about is structure. So what do we mean by structure? Structure is the blueprint of the market, right? So it's how the market behaves. And one thing about the structure or one thing about the market is that prices are fractal. What you see on a higher time frame will happen on a lower time frame. So these are some of the patterns that you see on the screen. These are some of the patterns that happen on every time frame. Just that on higher time frames, they're more reliable, right? Than on lower time frames. The thing with trading lower time frames is that um, there's a lot of noise. So obviously, with a lot of noise comes volatility. With volatility comes a lot of stop hunts. So you can apply these on lower time frames if an intraday trader or a scalper, but then they also work on a higher time frame. So yeah. Um, um, side note, side note, I don't want you to think like a conventional SNR trader, which is why in my teachings, I try to exclude trend lines as much as I can. Trend lines are like cherry on a cake, right? You can have a perfect cake without cherries. So that's how I think of trend lines. Um, it's very important that you know how to identify your key levels. Because if you know how to identify key levels, if you know how to interpret momentum, if you know how to interpret market behavior, then um, mixing that with structure will be a lot more simple for you to trade. So anyways, let's get right into it. The first pattern that most of y'all probably know is the double top or the triple top. So what, what that means is that, like say for instance with this one, we were in an uptrend, right? And this was our higher high, the market created a higher low. Um, the market failed to break through this previous high, right? Meaning that we found uh, resistance dropped. Found support here, but then because it's a buying market, obviously, um we expect buyers to pull it so the market goes back to this level again fails it means that the bulls from this trend and on this level are failing to break past this level and the sell orders on this level exceed the buy orders so it's a reversal pattern right the opposite is true for when you're in a downtrend. You're coming down, right? And you create a lower low and a lower high. Um, the market is failing to break below this low, meaning it found support, pushes back up, pushes up. So in this instance, because we're in a downtrend, we're not so focused on this right here, right? The fact that the support here the momentum from the support is failing to break through this. I mean, the momentum from this resistance, sorry, is failing to break through the support over here means that the um, sellers, right, from this trend are losing power and the buy orders on this region exceeds the sell orders. So eventually, we're going to get a reversal, right? That's simple. Also a breakout retest. You're in an uptrend, right? Um, you get to this level over here, it's your resistance. You break it, and then you're gonna retest it as support. Normally occurs 
on minor levels. This one, we've talked about it a lot of times, and the opposite is true when you're in a downtrend. So you have um, this failure pullback. <clears throat> I'm actually going to show you what it looks like on a live chart. So the market was going up, got to a resistance level, created a new low, right, broken through. And as it was supposed to retest this level as support, right, like this here, it failed. So we got uh, a, a break out back into this resistance and we retested this as a resistance and we got um, our sell. On a higher time frame, it will probably look like a spike, right? And then we also have a flag. So let's say you're in a downtrend, right? And the opposite is true if you're in an uptrend. We're in a downtrend and, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, you get a new trend, consecutive highs and consecutive, consecutive higher highs and consecutive higher lows, right? Um, um, you'll notice that the size of the impulse movements of this um, uptrend compared to this one is very small, right? So eventually price is going to um, fail to break above a certain structure or level. And then if you notice that similar to a double top, you'll get a drop. So I know this was very fast, but then I'll show you on a live chart. So let's move on to a live chart so that you can see this example. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Here's an example of a failure pullback. So we're in an uptrend, right? And we got, we found resistance at this level, created a new low, right? Um, the market found resistance again, new low, eventually broke out. So when the market was supposed to reach this level as support, the market uh, broken through this over here, which on a higher time frame, oh, looks like a spike. Uh, I wanna do this so that you can see. On a higher time frame, it just looks like a rejection, right? On a lower time frame, here's what you see. So the market broke through this level when it was about when it was supposed to retest this level as resistance. Um, the support couldn't hold, um, and then we broke again, retested this as resistance, got our confirmation, and dropped. So this is an example of a failure pullback. Um, here's a breakout retest. So we found support over here, created a new low, came back for a retest and then continued up. Um, I want to show you guys the, an example of what I was talking about when here's another failure pullback over here. Right, looks like a fail, uh, a false breakout. And yeah, you'll see it. So here's an example. Excuse the mess, guys. It's just um, analyzing here. So you're in an uptrend, right? The market prints this over here. Look at the size of the impulse movement and the correction. So look at the size of this. Compare it with this, right? This is very small. Eventually, price gets to a an area and fails to break below the area. I normally say to confirm an uptrend or to confirm a trend reversal, you have to break through, if you're in an uptrend, you have to break through previous lows, right? If you fail to break through a previous low, it means that you were in, you just corrected. So this is what was happening over here. Um, um, the market dropped, broken through this low, retested it, yes. And as it was supposed to create, a, okay, so it broke to this previous low, created a new low, so consecutive lower lows. But then um, when it was supposed to create a, a lower high, that's where we had a problem. Because 
um, the structure over here, we've broken through it, right? Because of this flip zone over here. And then the market continued up. So yeah, guys, these are the patterns that you need to know. Uh, please check out my previous videos. I hope those help you. And yeah, I'll be posting more content on support and resistance and be on the lookout for our full course. It's going to be free. Uh, probably going to host a Zoom meeting. So if you want to join the Zoom meeting, um, make sure that you join uh, my Telegram channel. The link will be in the description box below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Till we meet again. Peace.